Oh, great. That's What's good, my G? Three carrying the culture show. What up, man? Ain't nothing, man. Just telling, man. Just wanted to say thank you, man, for all your support. You, uh, Kajal, Boom Bat Buddha, everybody that has something to do with uh, carrying the culture, man. For real. No, we appreciate you, man. I'm, like, oh, yo, I'm fucking amped about this shit right now. You're on this. I'm more, yo, I'm, I'm hyped, man, because you fucking nice as fuck, man. And, and, and so it's a pleasure for us to have you on it. And it was like, it was funny because. Thank you, bro. I course. mean, in a, you know, reach out, have you on as a guest, and then the album dropped, and I was like, okay, timing is everything. This this shit works. So fucking big up everybody joining in. We got all the great. Salute, salute, salute to everybody in the chat. What up, Indigo? We got, what up, what up, Indigo? Salute, salute, man, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, So I'm really excited about this because, um, like, I didn't, I don't know anything about you other than you, like, you make dope music, and I think you're from New York. That's That's pretty much it. So, so like, so for for me, I I get to I didn't I didn't look up any look up any interviews or try to reason. I was just like, y'all, just get to we can just get to build, ask some questions, just chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So, I am um, oh, man. as you can tell, I'm really excited about this one. Everybody, if you got I mean, questions, too, man, I feel I feel like I was about to go perform. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know what I mean? Like I was about to step on stage. Uh, we we get it in on here, man. I I, I fucking I. I'm excited about this. I mean, for real, um, because it's 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 genuine for me, and it's like, yo, as I said to me, it's the best album I heard all fucking year, man. Like, ain't nobody ain't, ain't nothing touching it right now, man. Like, people Thank putting shit. People like, Thank yo, you. try this, try this, yeah. listen to this. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah, salute to free mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, we are gonna get into that in a minute. Um, if you guys got questions for, oh, use the questions feature below. It's got a question mark there, um, and uh, we can pull it up. And you can see it. Also, uh, if you get on any fuck shit in the comments, just like on the page, we will send your ass home. That's just how, how it is, because, you know, how we got to do it. Um, so, yeah, man, I got a, I got a bunch of shit. I, it's, it's, it's funny. I mean, I first heard you. Um, well, I, I played the joint where I first heard you. Give me a second. It's my shit. Fucking. Yo. I'm hype right now, man. You don't understand, B. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm all fucked up, so I can't, yeah, yeah. so the first time I heard Oda Great was on this joint, this was in, uh, I believe 2019, or maybe, it feels early, but, 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 it sounds about right, it sounds like the worst, Flash rigs, cool coach, Scorpio, rap Yo, game. Nice guys, finish, flash the good girls, attract the bad things. All the nice catch with a bad swing. Just a glimpse, watch closely, my ass is. Pass from pips. Oh, man. Don't lose, don't lose, man. This was a World Series. Big up yeah, to the Peter Mark, Marks, man. You know what I'm saying? Produce some Shadow Magnetic. That's why I first heard you. I was like, yeah, salute to, the, salute to the big Miho, you know, ex Peter Marksman for getting on it. Thank you. Uh, produced by Shadow Magnetic, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I actually, uh, I had, the, I was sitting on that track for like a year, man, and uh, I didn't have nobody to, to really get on it. So, um, uh, shout out to Bugsy. He came, uh, I think it was on the King's Throne 2 album. Uh, it was me, uh, I got on the track, it was me. X Peter Marksman, Alphabetic, and um and Bugsy. It's called Clubber Lang. If y'all want to check it out, official. And uh, that was the first time I ever heard of XP. So uh, after that, I just hollered at him, and um you know he was down. He was down. So I sent him. I sent him the track, and you know what I mean. The, the rest is history from there. Yeah, it was a good fit, yo. Like nice mix. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Different different steeds. I mean, the whole East Coast. And, you know, he definitely. You know what I'm saying? His West Coast shit. Like it was, but it was like the shit was. Fire, yo! Like that shit is fire. Like I bumped that shit. I try to annoy people with that fucking song, man. Like, <laughs> nah, good looking. Yeah, that's definitely you know one of my favorites. Yeah, so that was I was gonna ask you how you how you hooked up with him, but you but you just said it. So, um, so you're yeah. you're from New York, right? Yeah, I'm from New York, man. Uh, Westchester County. If anybody knows where that is, you know you probably heard of Yonkers. Uh, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, White Plains, and then you get to Port Chester. You know what I mean? That's where I'm from, Port Chester, New York. You're from Port Chester? 
Absolutely. Oh, word. I used to go to raves out in Port Chester, like in the late 90s and shit. Um, fucking. Not, not, not in the Bronx, right? Not Park Chester. You said Park Chester or Port Chester? Port. Port Chester, New York, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not all right. All right. Not park, okay. Because yeah, sometimes, sometimes people get it mixed up. You know what I mean? They think I'm saying Park Chester. Park no, Chester. Park Chester right off, yeah. I mean, I'm from, I'm from Connecticut, so it's right off 95. So whenever I go through, whenever. Yep. I, it's, it's, yep. it's right we there. Like so, so we, yeah. I used to be out in Port Chester. I mean, that's the. I only went to one spot there. I just ate a lot of fucking Molly. I didn't know what else was going on, but that was it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> like the last. It's like the last stop before you get to Connecticut. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's the one right there. I mean, it's right there. So that's why we was all we was there all the time because the party for us was only like forty minutes away. You know what I'm saying? So, but fucking, I'm familiar with Westchester, Westchester County, definitely. Though I, I thought you were from the city, but that's, I thank you for clearing that shit up. Nah, yeah, a lot of yeah, a lot of people be saying that, but nah, I'm from, I'm from Port Chester, New York. I live down in White Plains. Uh, shout out to all my people out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my man, my man's live out uh, live out in White Plains, fucking, and uh, I got people out in the city. I think Carmel's out near there too, right? Like close by. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, it's a little up. I I, I believe it's Westchester. I think so, or Dutchess, something uh, like that. It might be more more more, more Dutchess, but but anyway, yo. So I want to know the, like the, the history as far as like then you know what little older great little little great. You know what I'm saying? What was <laughs> what was going on? Like yeah. what were you? What was the major influences for you as far as like just the sound? Like who are you, man? Because I have, like I said, I have no idea, man. You know what I mean? Man. That's it. I just know you make dope ass shit. So, well, as far as growing up, man, um, I always say it was the movie. It was a movie. It was more, more like the dancing. You know what I mean? I was into like the break dancing. A word? So, like, yeah, it was like a uh, electric boogaloo, uh, part two, breaking two. That really, uh, you know what I mean? That got me into like hip hop and stuff like that. That's what I. That's what I would say. Electric. You know? So that was like. That was like. Uh, it was like eighty six. Yeah, that's the second one, right? The, um, yeah, yeah. Where, they had to save, where they had to save the clubhouse and shit or some shit, right? Yeah, like, my, my man was dancing on the roof. You know what I'm saying? Word. Yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, like it was nothing. Yo, you could tell me that shit was a fly. Word, man. So yeah, I think it, it, that's when my love for uh, I guess hip hop started. You know what I'm saying? Um, and after that, you know, I, I tried to get in all aspects of hip hop. You know, with the um, well, it started with break dancing. I tried to do graffiti. Um, uh, DJing, and then you know the MCing came a little later. So, oh, that's that's crazy to me. I mean, that's that's how I got into it too. But it's it's funny that 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 was what it was. It was the it was the b the b boy aspect about it for you. What what was it about? So yeah, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't like crazy with it. You know what I mean? But it 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 influenced me to the point where I used to grab cardboard and um. You know what I mean? Like go outside and try and lay the cardboard down and try to do moves and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> was did you, was your friends doing it with you, or was it just like you alone? Like when you were coming up, like was it just like you? Like nah, I know some was, people that were just like kind of isolated in their hip hop journeys, or was it like what you know when they were younger? Yeah, no, nah, it was it was just me. That's it. You know what I mean? Word. 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 So no family, no no friends, no nothing really like. Nah, not really. I don't really got too much family out here, you know what I mean? I mean, I do, but they were, like, in other towns and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So it was just basically me, you know what I'm saying? Little old doing his thing. So music-wise, when you got into, like, the – when you got into the – as far as, like, the MC and who was, like – You know him, you know him, what's good, baby? Oh, shit, what up? Um, who That's was influencing you, like, on the, on the music tip? Okay, uh, Nas is definitely in my, in my top. You know what I'm saying? Nas, yeah. the whole the whole Queens Bridge, the whole Queens Bridge. You know, Cormega, um, what do you call it? Uh, Tragedy, just like just everybody from Queens Bridge. That's a big like you know what I mean influence on me. Um, of course, DMX, of course, the Locks. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn, it's just so many. Big Pun, Big L. I mean, okay, look, I'm, I'll put it to this. I'll, I'll, even, I'll make the question even more direct. If yeah. you can name, if you can name like an MC that like, where you were like, okay, this, this, these few right here inspired me, or well, not inspired me, you know, like, was like, man, I really want to do that just by because because of hearing them. And even if it wasn't somebody in particular, just like, who, who would you say makes you feel that way as far as like inspires you to rhyme? Uh, it'd probably be Nas Escobar, man. 
Nas Escobar, definitely, bro. The just the just his rhymes, the way he paints that picture, you know what I'm saying? It's just like like nobody else, man. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And so and I, 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 and personally, to me, he was one of the one of the greatest. But how do you feel about his his, his recent shit? Like past three, four, five years, his music is his music. Honestly, I I love it. You know what I mean? I, I love it. I like that he. That's the go. You know, I like that he's he's you know he's a he's an older guy now, and he's like, you know, he's a, he's doing different things. You know what I mean? He's not. He's not staying. He's he's not staying the same. He's not trying to make another Illmatic. You know what right. I mean? that that's already that's already a classic you know what i'm saying right. so everything that he's doing i think is great you know what i mean well that's a free big up free mind big up jamil honesty big up jamil, jamil my armory brother what up did, did, did you guys do did you guys do something together yeah we got a joint called armory uh produced by uh free mind too oh word when when when, when, <laughs> when, when, when. <laughs> Come on, man. When, when, when was that? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Come on. All right. I'll be on the lookout, man. Come on, man. Gotta let us know. Um, so there was like, so as far as your journey, because that's interesting, like you kind of being dolo about it. I mean, were you, even when you started rhyming, like when you were younger, like how, how old were you when you started rhyming? No, nah, when I started rhyming, rhyming, I was probably like 13, 14. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, some kids around uh, my neighborhood, you know, we used to hang out or whatever. I think he started rhyming, and I was like, oh, I could do that too, you know what I mean? So I started doing it, but I took, a like, a real liking to it, you know what I mean? I took a real liking to it to the point where he was calling me up, talking about, yo, is this hot or not? You know, is this is this ill? Is this hot? You know what I mean? So that's that's how that's how that started. Then I uh, – not, not too – not too far after that, I, the first time I went to the studio, it, it was it, it was over after that. You know what I mean? I heard myself on the playback, and I was like, "Yo, this, I don't know." I said, "Just hit me, like." Or, so were you do, were you in like a group or anything? A what? So were you in a group or anything like that at the time, or, or just no, were you I trying always... to put out tracks? Or were you just like rhyming in the in the, in the? I mean, like, what? How serious were you taking it as far as making actual music? Um, I, I mean, when I first started, I guess I was just like, I don't know. I I think I always took it seriously, honestly. Ever since like, ever since I was young, man, I, I always, I always, I always took it serious. As far as like, you know, at first I had to learn how to like put tracks together, you know, count bars and stuff like that. So you know, what I mean, that came a little later. Maybe I was like in high school, you know, what I mean, my later years in high school and shit. So when was your first actual project that you put out? Um. I would say, I would say it was called Sour Thoughts. It's on that piff right now. If anybody want to go check that out, man, Sour Thoughts. And I got uh, Barcelona that came after that. But that's that was like my first, uh, like my first joint that I, I, I say that's you know complete, complete, first complete joint. Pick up Alphabetic. Alphabetic, my bro was goody. Joining in. Producing Mad Joyce, and he's on uh, Last Dragon. Last Dragon getting a lot of love. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in in a minute. Yeah, he's on the, he's on a hundred schools of thought, and man, yo, salute to Alphabetic, salute to um Shadow Magnetic. They just got a they got a placement on the Lloyd Bank album. You know what I mean? On the one that just came out, it's called A Crown, man. I'm super proud of my brothers for real, man. So after this, please go check that out. It's called A Crown. Yeah, they're doing their thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing, man. Make man. Hearing the uh, names on a lot of fire tracks and, and that produced the one, the World Series joint, right? That's the right. Uh, S produced that, yeah. Shadow Magnetic. Shadow Magnetic produced that joint, right? So yeah, I mean that that's come on, man. Um, oh, yeah, big up, big up to them. So yo, what I wanted to ask you was, as far as MC shit, like what. Everybody's rhyming. Everybody ain't fucking mom is rhyming right now. Like, what's what separates you? What's the? I mean, what's the? You know, what should we expect from you? What type of MC are you? Like, why are you different? Why should I guess I should say why should anybody listen to you over to like the six hundred other six hundred other thousand cats? You know what I'm saying? Rhyming right now. 
I don't know. I think you could just tell, man, my, my, my hunger. Every time I, I, I come out with something, man, you could feel it. It's just, it's like a, a, a nostalgia of something from like maybe the early 2000s, 90s or something, but like, you know, brought up to now. It's just, it's just different, man. You know what I mean? It's just, it's what would different. you? What would you say? So what? what like just so we, we could be on the same page. What would you say is like the era, the predominant era that, like I guess, raised you? Like I don't, I'm not sure what eight, how old you were or anything. I'm just saying, but what was the? Yeah. Nah, definitely the '90s, man. But I would say like later, like later on, like maybe like anywhere from like '92 and up. So like okay, '90s. All right, got you. Yeah. Salute to you know what I mean all the pioneers that did it before me the b before that you know what I mean the Rock Kims the uh, Big Daddy Kane's Cool G Rap and all that you know what I mean. Right. So just just to put it in perspective, so like ninety ninety two ish. Big up everybody joining in the chat, showing showing love. So, um, so I'm saying yeah, I, I did notice that man that like just it, it sounded like, well particularly on this album. This mm. took me back, like, this, this it I can't describe it, yo. Like, it takes me back. So what, let's get into it. I mean, what, what, um, what was the thought process, thought process behind this joint? Because it's, 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 a, it's a, definitely a concept, a whole theme, a whole scheme to it. So take us, yeah. like, start to finish with that. I wish I could tell you that Barry Gordy hit me up, you know what I mean? And he, and he was coming out with, like, a remake or something like that, you know what I mean? I wish I had a crazy story like that. but <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but uh, what do you call it? Um, basically, it, this was after the This Art Is Real album, right? That was my first joint, I guess, in this underground, you know what I mean? And I felt like that album, which I produced, you know, I produced the album, I felt like that was like super slept on. So I was like, um, you know what I mean? I got, I got to come up with something, something different. So I was just thinking about concepts and shit like that. And um, uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was probably just looking at all the flicks I got trying to, you know, come up with something. And I was just like, you know, last dragon, that's it. <laughs> Word, man. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, like, what about the names, though, man? It shit seems like, well, like, really, like, going to the track list, like, this real planned out. Like, why did, I mean, like, you got the the Eddie Arcadian shit. Like, what's the what's the thought process behind some of the tracks? Like, even the... Well, yeah, you know, Eddie Arcadian, that was, the, that was like, one of the, the villains. Him and Show Enough, you know, they was the villains in the, in the movie. So I had to, like, if I was going to call it Last Dragon, I had to have them on it, you know what I mean? Especially, uh, you know, I got the Laura Charles joint, the um, the the one that the uh, you know, Vanity Vanity played that that, so I had to I had to throw that on there. Uh, some dumb goy, you know, when uh, when uh, when Bruce Leroy went up to the um, he was looking for the master or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? So I had to, you know, I had to I had to throw that on there. Yeah, flipped <clears throat> it, man. What's what's your favorite personal person? I had a hard time, like as far as like doing it. Like picking an intro track, I was like, "Yeah, what am I fuck?" I was playing it for like ten minutes. I'm like, "Wow, what am I gonna pick?" Well, what's your favorite for your personal favorite on there? You got one? I got a couple, man. I like Nimpo. Uh, Nimpo. Uh, what do you call it? Joan Up. Um, and uh, Golden Touch with Iron Palms. Golden Golden Touch. Yeah, those those are like my favorite joints. Nimpo is crazy. Big up free man and like I'm gonna like, let's let, like let's because I always say like you know an album can have bars or album can have dope production and it's not a dope album because one of the others is missing, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and this was man. a complete this it's a complete project, man. You know what I'm saying? And like, the free mind, man, and, and free mind, thank you for being patient, bro. You know what I mean? Because this was this was really supposed to be out like maybe two, three years ago. You know? Wow. Word. So I had to go. I had to go back in and tweak, tweak up a little, a couple verses. Not much, but you know what I mean. This, this, this just stuff kept coming up. You know what I mean? Like I was working on other stuff. So, but I'm, I'm glad that it, it, it happened the way it did. And uh, you know, I'm getting really good feedback. We're getting really good feedback. Yeah, uh, Fremont said Nimpo hands down that beat is personal. Like I think, well, that's your, that's your favorite too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wifey favorite too. That's, that shit is 
That's just serious. They all say the Laurel Tar you know, they listen, I can't talk about it enough. It's a it's a home run album. I mean, you have not paid me a dime to post to do anything about this album. Like this is just like fire fucking shit. And 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 people need to hear this, man. Like this is, you know, a big part of what we do is try to you know, we, we try to push the old shit and keep the old, you know, obviously I'm 45, but like, but hip-hop hip hip is alive and well and good music is out there. And, 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 and so we're really trying to, you know what I'm saying, put a light on that. And this album is crazy. Like my, my man, big up, uh, be real. You know what I'm saying? That's McCoy, fuck M. Bizzle, man. Because I don't like that yeah, because yeah. they took your page, you know what I'm saying? IGB on that bullshit, fam, but. Uh, that's when it could be real. So it, it's so no skipper. That's to me, yo. An album doesn't qualify as a as a dope album if if, you, if there's any skippable tracks on it. Like first of all, like so, that's the first thing and foremost. Yo, the, the beats is crazy. Like I said, big up free mind. We had a chance to interview him when we were out in L.A. And yeah, that, um, that was dope, man. I, yeah, I saw that. That was dope, man. All right. Hopefully, I, I get to go out there soon one day and you know meet meet, meet all my brothers in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, you know that was dope. So that's on uh, up on our YouTube channel. So um, yeah, the album is, is is crazy. Let me play. Fuck, which one am I gonna play, yo? Which one got? We gotta play play a little bit of one of these joints. Hold on, <laughs> fucking some dumb goy is crazy too. Ah, uh, we we put hold on. We, we put a couple. We played a couple snippets, yo. The last dragon. When did this drop? Like about a month ago, right? Three weeks ago. Yeah, it sounded like that. I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the master of some dumb boy. The rap's unemployed, null and void. What it looked like. I shook dice once, twice. Been here for a minute. I know it's good. Just trying to make the paper sweet like fortune cookies. It's all hoodie like three goons. Radio beats boom. Catch a second hand off the weed fumes. Sipping sake. The mix got me ready to flip from me. Gotta stay alert just in case of it gets sloppy. Ambitious, act different. They have a mission, I can't stop. Until I completed the task, mission track heater. Black 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 I'm not sure. Just this. I think this is hip hop. Salute. This is hip hop. He said, "Uh, something about the dark unit, man." Salute to my brothers, bro. Word up, dark unit, man. Blazovania, Blazovania three. I think that that's dropping soon. So salute to Ralphie, man. Word up. Right. Yeah, we got Ralphie. That's that's, that's my, you know I'm saying uptown Philly brethren right there, man. August Ave. You know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, so dirty. Oh yeah, supreme, supreme. Uh, dirty cerebral out now too, man. So my guys are showing up some more. Something other than show enough. Let's see. Let's see if you if you listen to the joint. You really listening to the joint. Show enough was we was pumping that heavy. What's, what's, what's another joint? What up? I'm testing niggas right now, man. For real. <laughs> I'm testing niggas right now. Niggas on the spot. Okay. All right. All right. Big up and Bizzle. Inglewood. All right, what up? We go. That Laura Charles shit is hot too. We're gonna play a snippet of that too. That shit is fire. Fire. Yeah. That's like one of the first joints I recorded. Huh? That's one of the first joints I recorded. The okay. Laura, Laura Charles joint. Right, where are we, man? We're gonna, we gonna put that. Alright, let's go. Like Eddie Arcadian, soft like a stank of Piranha with Goody family. That's the five, shorty, that's why I pull up the end. Walk heavy, met life, rockin' a strawberry. Right product, get dollars, the color of rosemary. Eddie Arcadian, black ops, Mercedes, Benz, hands on like jungle gyms, now let's get it in. Stack paper, rub and spin like a twin. Mad villain, might throw a fit, but please don't catch feelings. A rabble dogs and dump like us from cigar filling. Been seen the tricks up your sleeves, y'all fall stealing. 
Smooth cross, crown in the world, the world's way to ramp through the line, these are more cross with me. Girl, just don't complain, say I'm bringing a mad boy that's gangster. Need some light to shine on a bad boy. It's just my regular way. Check out the resume, that's heavyweight. Mean face mugging, just like Eddie A. Stop for cause mine is not yours. A slight mess. Hold up to the function as a special uninvited guest. Executive decisions. This is the last call to spare witness. It's all official, ain't no bad business. Plenty pain, slips in the mess. It's all everything. We can't be in the face mugger. Can I just say, can I, can I just point out to everybody too? Let the hooks be official, son. Like, like that. that you, that's hooks. really, that, honestly, that's really important to me, man. Hooks are really important to me, man. Them? A good Ooh. hook. Go ahead. Catch them, man. You, you catch them. Or yeah. up. That's that shit just <laughs> right there. That shit. I was you. That's you had me. You had me right there. We go. You gonna go to the Laura Charles joint real quick, man? You know what I'm saying? Last, last dragon. Free money, oh the great fucking yo. Yes, sir. This the fucking missile too right here. So what up, everybody? You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go, let's go. On top of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Lost love, in the love, lost the juice to control fragrance, smell like I need me a cure. I just had to keep it east all raw. That's how I feel about it, night and day like I'll be sure. Bless the fleet for the summer games, some off-white, simple and plain. No umbrella, you look nice in the rain. The coins is going up, don't blush, yes I up my slang. But it's better to take it slow, wild rush for the pain. But you can't, with these shades of some color, rose gold. Body banging like a rose voice, on point. Yes, let him excel. Sleep the beauty, hard body, like ghost in the cell. Hold it down in my memoir. Oh, Watch them start. Yeah, right. Face emoji with the eye hearts. Serve boys and rockets that might launch. So before this rhyme is for me, I promise that I'll call you when you say me, I need go. Star girl, that's a bitch. Nice and simple and blue. Legs bend, diva proof. All about Benjamin too. Seven, seven, you part in the game. I've seen a star load of stars in the name. Yeah, man, at least gotta have something for the shorties. At least one track on, on, on everything I do, you know what I'm saying? Yikes, that shit is fucking retarded. That shit's straight fucking <laughs> handicappable, man. That's that's. That is little short bus. Fucking <laughs> get out of school early, ten o'clock. Retarded. Astronomics, astronomics was good. Yeah, for real, man. I, I I can't, I can't. I don't really, yo. And that's why I've been so hyped to fucking uh to to build with you on this, man. Because <laughs> it is, man. It's retarded. Yeah, fucking. Because the it, first you know, the shit is. It, it, it's a breath of fresh air. It takes me back, both of you guys together, and, and I need to hear more, man. Like fucking, this combo is, this combo is fierce, son. Like, and I think I can speak like, the, the combo, the, the chemistry's there. It fits the bars fit over them shits, and fucking, you know what Fremont was coming with. Like, if you listen to him, if you fuck with him, mm. you know what you know what his back is like. Yeah, man. He, yo, know, man. He remind me of like. I don't know. It's just so soulful, man. You know what I mean? It takes you to that to that place, man. He reminds me of like Knife Wonders and and and, and premieres and, and yes. all. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's not a stretch. Yeah. It's not a stretch, yo. Big up, Free Mind for real. It's not a stretch to say that that he is reminiscent of 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 mid '90s premiere. Let's let's. I ain't, I ain't, you know early '90s premiere. I ain't going front. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't say shit like that just to say it. I mean that's just peep the peep the peep him out and this shit is that's what we we hear it. You know what I'm saying? So, fucking, um, yo, but, like, but yo, free, we could definitely do a part two or uh, or uh, uh, hit them with something different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> crazy. Come with it, man. Part up. Come with it. Um, as far as like, well, how'd you go? How'd you actually hook up with him? Um, I would, I would probably say I first heard him uh after uh after hearing him um. He he did uh music with uh with, with with Bugsy, with Supreme Cerebral. Yeah, so I think that's that. Yeah, nah, that's how that definitely happened. You know what I mean? I might have, I, I don't know who hollered at who first, but you know it happened. 
<laughs> it happened. Well, and uh, yeah, the first the first single we did is actually uh, it's called uh, "Rock the Bells at Summer Jam." You know what I mean? That was the first, if anybody remembers that, that far back, you know what I mean? But you can check it out on my band camp. It's called Rock the Bells at Summer Jam. That was the first single that we ever did together. Oh, you and you and Free? Me and Free, yeah. It's called Rock the Bells. You know, I put Rock the Bells. You know, Rock the Bells was like a crazy concert. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I put that in, and, uh, you know, Summer Jam. I just mixed it up together, and it's like a, it's a, it's a cool summer. It's like a cool summer joint. What? Wow. Let's go find that shit, then. It's on your band camp? Uh yeah yeah it's on my band camp. All right, we're gonna find that shit, right? So while we looking for that, yo, my nation, what up, nation? <laughs> one question I have for you is, as far as like, you know, contemporaries or people out there right now, like, are you listening to others? Who are you, if so, like, you know, even who, even cats in your camp, like, who who are you fucking with? Like, who do you rock with? As far as I like, with, I rock with, with everybody, man. Everybody I've been making music with, shout out to them. You know, Alphabetic, S, uh, what do you call it? Bugsy, Banish, XP, uh, Jamil, uh, shit, uh, Ralphie, the whole dark unit, you know, Vinny. Uh, and it's uh, Casablanca, shout out to Casablanca, wherever you at, man. Uh, as far as people, man, yo, I'm trying to do joints with, yo, Tri State, uh, Planet Asia. Um, R.J. Payne, um, Benny the Butcher, um, you know whoever. <laughs> you don't give a fuck, or right, man. I'm trying to. I just want. I want to test my pen, man. That's what it is, man. I want. I really want to test my pen against whoever the underground considers, whoever they consider the greatest out right now. That's who I want to test my pen against. I mean, you name some heavy hitters. I mean, of course. You know, RJ Payne is bubbling right now on a, you know, on a lot of levels. Um, you know what I'm saying? Planet Asia, in my opinion, is an all-time great. He's been doing this for over 25 years. And so as far as I told him because I met him. You know what I mean? I met him maybe like two, nah, it might have been last year, two years ago. And I told him, yo, everything you coming out with right now is gold. Like, you, everything, you, everything, he's killing everything right now. You know what I mean? That holy water is crazy. Yeah, he's 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 ridiculous. I mean, and then I told him, I mean, you know, yeah, he's he's just putting out fire. Uh, basically, on somebody mentioned ransom. Uh, it's a question. Mark. Ransom? ransom, another another legend. You know what I'm saying? That's another legend, man. Jersey, shout out to New Jerusalem, man. Here we go. Let me see. Oh, I found it. Here we go. Rock the bells at Summer Grand. Let's see. Yeah, this is the first joint. We ever did, you know what I mean, that we put out. Okay. Let's see if I got it. Can I play it? Oh, I'm fucking, fucking goofy right now. Yo. Bottles pop like the 4th of July. Streets got firework. A grimy dirt, grimy slurs, ill smurfs like signs on a Nike shirt. Summer jam, powerhouse, head bump, chase the skirts. Since rock the bells, cancel, still looking for the hottest first. Gold chains hanging like Olympic medals. But there's no podium, we see it at a different level. Gucci shades, kiss out of hoopty puff and Lucy blades. Penny face, scrambling to get dollars by any means. Anyway, anyway, heat waves, don't sweat that. Snoo and orange bows, I'm in you in that smash cap. Met that so fresh, I call that a jetpack. You sip Nemo, you put in there with a the rest that we cooking now. Parades and festivals, the baddest mommy belly rings. Relax and get a queen space, queen space. Be safe, hydrate, and drink a lot of water. Cause thirst, man, I'll make you act up and turn to heaven in the summer slam. It's like May weather, but in June gets better. July, August, September, I'm hoping I'll remember. See the crowd form, and it's making me wonder, fam. Live it up like I just rock the bells at summer. Long days and nights, past four in the morning, just trying to pull more off the corners as warm. Everybody outside, the good or bad times, just understand. Live it up like I just rocked the bells at summer jam. All right, son. Okay. That shit hot. Good looking. Yeah, it's like a little, little summer joint that I, that I you know, that, that's, you know, a little summer concept I came up with. You know what I mean? So, so that's, the, you know, that's the thing, though, with this music, man. It's so... For me now, it's unfortunate that, like, it's different, man. Like, there's a lot of joints out that, 
I try to keep my ear to, to to what's going on, but it's you know what I'm saying this album's coming out by legends that you don't even hear about. Like fucking oh, bro, you're the ultimate hip hop head, bro. Like I be I be looking at your page sometimes and I'll be like, yo, I'm lacking in, in, in the in the in the hip hop head department a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'll be like, yo, when did this come out? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be like, yo, when did this come out? I like word, man. So salute to that, bro. Salute yeah. to you. Appreciate you. I mean, we, you know, I mean, just like crazy. You know what I mean? Just, I'm just, oh, I'm just old. That's all. <laughs> but nah, Even, I mean, it's the, it's the love, man. It's the passion. You know what I mean? That you got, that you, that, that we got for this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I appreciate your respect, man. I mean, it's, it's there, man. For me, yeah, this is, it's, 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 it's part of what helped me grow up, man. You know what I mean? It's like Thanks. I always say, hip hop. I did a post on it. it was like, you know, hip hop taught me what? Like hip hop taught me how to like lace my sneakers. Pose for, pic pose for pictures, um, right? Taught me how to wear my hat. Taught me how to like deal with shit out in the, you know what I mean? Roll L's, mm -hmm. hip hop lessons. You know how to deal with the fucking five O. You know what I'm saying? Everything. How to deal with out of town niggas. How to move when you out of town. <laughs> Look, listen to you know up north trip whatever. No, I think it, was it, also, it also told you it ain't where you from is where you at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, it's a universal thing. It, it it's it taught me like that. You know, there's if you get busy, you get busy, man. Like fucking fucking color. What just be nice with it. Bring it, man. You know. So, um. So yo, so what I was gonna ask you then. So what's your like approach to this shit right now, man? This isn't 1988, 89 where you got an A and R and you got a fucking big ass budget. We pumping money into your fucking shit and 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 putting it out there for you. Street team and all that. Um, ain't none of that, man. <laughs> ain't none of that. <laughs> and I know I actually worked for like, uh, what do you call it? It was like one summer I was at, uh, what do you call it? Uh, during a Puerto Rican day parade, I worked for uh, Violator. Violator and Def Jam. Oh, like, like on the streets, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handing out like, uh, you know, flyers and, and tapes and shit like that. So stuff like that, man, you don't, you know. You don't, you don't see nothing like that, man. So then I'm saying, how do you, um, and everybody, if you got questions, please use the questions feature. That way I can bring them up because it's hard to look at the comments. Um, but please use the questions feature. Um, so then, like, you know, some cats try to put out a ton of music. Some cats still want to drop shit every year, which I do not advise in this age. <laughs> like, nobody gives mm -hmm. a fuck. Ain't nobody waiting. To, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But like, so what's your like a, a, a approach? You know what I mean? Like, are you trying to? I guess what I'm just saying, are you trying to? Is this something where, you know, some cats have different agendas? You know, are you are you trying to just rhyme because you love it? Are you trying to make a living out of it? Are you trying to just become the best to ever do it? Like, are you just doing it because hey, I, I'm I, this is something I like to do, but I got other shit going on. Yeah, man. No, nah, I think it's a combination of all of them, man. Honestly, you know what I mean? Who? I mean, if you're doing this for fun, like, I mean, of course you want to you wanna do it for fun, but you know what I mean? Do you want to get recognized and, you know, do you, you know what I mean? You Do you want to get paid maybe, hopefully one day? Do you want to travel, do shows and stuff like that? You know what I mean? I would say it's a combination of all of them, you know, and probably hopefully one day being um being one of the greats i mean no pun intended <laughs> <laughs> got you got you uh let's see, pull up a question here um all right be real what what inspires you when writing uh what inspires me everything inspires me you know what i mean uh I would, basically the beat you know what I mean? It would have to be a ill beat that just, you know, just, that just talks to me. You know what I mean? It's the beat, and then after that, everything falls in line after that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when you construct a song or an album, because people do it differently. I, like, my man, like, I know people that, like, they put on the music, and then they know what they're going to write about from the music. Some people have an idea, and then they're looking for something already. Like, how do you kind of do it? Oh, when it comes to an album, it's, I don't know, it's different, man. Like, I really got to get into, like, that mental space, you know what I'm saying? 
it takes me a, it, 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 it's not like no one, two, three thing. It, it takes a while, man. So, I, but I usually do, it's, it's usually a, a concept that I come out with and I, I write around that. You know what I'm saying? I, I write around that. So that's, that's, that's how that works. So, you know, Shit up. Uh, growing up, I mean, because I get a, there's a lot of references actually, and that's you know, cause I'm probably somewhat close in age because there's a lot of references that you're using in your work. Where I'm, you know, I'm like, damn, you know, uh, I can't think of any off the top of my head. I wish I could, but like, yeah, I do a lot of backtracking also, you know what I mean? This, still, like I said, I'll be going to your page and I'll be, I'll be like, yo, when did this come out? Like, I don't even, you know, I don't even know who, the, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know when that dropped, when it came out. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely, you know, I'm, I am a student. I am a student of the game, so I definitely do my home. Zulu. Zulu. I mean, that's, 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 that's real right there. And that takes um, – it's a lot to even say that. People don't even like to say stuff like that, man. Like, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, we should always try to be students. Like, I mean, people – I'm a fan. You know what I mean? Super yeah. fan. <laughs> Word up, man. Um, yeah, I'm a fan, fan, a fan first. You know what I'm saying? It's about the for me. It's about the, the love of the shit first. I mean, we're in different, different chairs, but you know what I mean. It's about the love first. We'll pull up another question. Let me see. Uh, all right, somebody wants your. Um, this is what I would usually ask you to, ask somebody to. Somebody wants your top five. Oh <laughs> man. You don't, don't, don't right, make it easier or straight. You don't have to rank them. Just, yeah, I'm going to give you my – I'll give you my – I mean – Yeah. I'll give you my top five for today. All okay, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess, guess Nas is there one. Not – yeah, number one. Let me uh, see if I can guess. Let me see if I can guess. Can I try to guess? Ah, uh, yeah. Shoot. Right, let, me, let me try to guess. <laughs> 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 I got for today. I mean, whatever. I, I got. Fuck it. I got Sean Price anywhere in there. Uh, salute, legend, a legend, a super legend, man. Sean with the pen, man. On my first album, me and Alphabetic, man. Sean with the pen, but he he not in my top five. Not in the top five. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. You look your mid your mid nineties. Nas, I gotta go. Prodigy. Oh, yep. All right. Yep. You got it. You I got it. Go See, man, had one of the illest pens. Had one of the illest pens at one point in the game, man. I gotta go. Prodigy. Um. Hmm. Fuck with Nas. You fuck with Prodigy. You fuck uh, with Tradge. I know one of them. You're never. You're not you gonna fuck, get. It. You fuck with Tradge. Tradge. Nah, Tradge is Tradge, and the intelligent hoodlum. You know what I'm saying? But he's not. He's, no. he's not there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try to get one more, and then we. We'll, all right. Let's see. Oh, Maki. I love tragedy. He's fucking ridiculous. Oh, uh, reporting. <laughs> Crazy. Still reporting. <laughs> love that album. See, people are saying G rap. I want to say G rap, but I was a little. Oh, oh, I think G. I don't think that's a little before like, me, man. I love G rap. I love G rap, but that's a little. Think, that's a little I don't before think for me, him. Man. Oh, I don't think for OG rap is there like that. Um, um, all right, it's Nas and Pete. Nas and Dan. You see, who the fuck else? Somebody, I'm gonna take a stab. A Z, A Z. Nah, you ain't. Nah. See, I don't know what your criteria is. I don't know if it's the <laughs> I think pun. Yeah, I bet he got pun in there. I pun. bet he got pun there. So look at pun, man. Uh, but he's not. I mean, right, he should it, be. Now I'm intrigued. Not. Who you got? Fuck it. <laughs> three more. I'm, now, fuck the. I don't want to guess no more. Who you got? I'm, I'm, this is. I got. Uh, who is it? Nas. Uh, Nas. Who we say? Nas. Prodigy. Uh, DMX. Uh, Jay Z. And most deaf. I never would have guessed none of those. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think you was gonna get most deaf. I thought you probably would have got uh, got uh, Jay and um 
And I wouldn't have got none of those, yo. I really, I, spe- <laughs> I mean, I respect. I wouldn't have got none of those, though. I mean, I, I personally wasn't going that. I wasn't going that route because I mean, I, and I don't know what you based on. I, I don't hear. Like, you probably spit, don't hear, don't hear Jay Z. Mm-hmm. I don't. And I don't hear. I mean, I'm not to saying I should, but I'm saying like, um, mo, you said Jay Z, most Def, and who? Um, and DMX. And DMX. And I don't hear DMX really. So it's interesting. I mean, I what I don't. I don't, so based on what, yo? Uh, I think just the uh probably the impacts that they that they had on me. You know what I mean? Just listening to their music and and um and falling in love with their catalog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, it's for today, so it might, you know, sometimes it, it might switch. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, what I mean, that's what that's what it is for today. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I always say, not, not, you know, I, I want to big up like uh, like a tribe called Quest. You know what I mean? Because they was like, they was a big inspiration to me too. You know what I mean? A tribe called Quest. Um, Who's some of your top groups? Uh, okay, so uh, we'll go with them. We'll go with a tribe called Quest. We'll go with Mob Deep, uh, Wu Tang, of course. Wu Tang, uh, Killer Army. I mean, I love Killer Army, especially that Dirty Weaponry album. It's like, is I'm still playing it today, man. I'm going to the gym and I'm fucking like, I'm bumping that. You know what I'm saying? Big up, big up. Is- Good brother, fourth disciple. Um, the fourth, shout yeah. out to Dalton, you know. You know what I'm saying? All of them, all of them. Killer Art, yo, and hold your head, Killer Sin. Killer, listen, Killer Sin, in my opinion, is, I always say that, like, he would be, like, easily one of the, like, higher tier Wu members if he was a Wu-Tang member, like, as far as, that cat is crazy, son. Like He's official, man. He's official, bro. The way he, uh, just, like, his rhyme, you know, his rhyme patterns and all that. The way he constructed his joints is is. Uh, yeah. I shall get going in a Heineken. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Have you heard you have, have you heard the shit he did with Inspector Deck over the Mob Deep? Um, um, they did a freestyle joint over the Mob Deep. Um, was up the ladder of success with text. They did a freestyle over that beat. That fucking uh, still shining. Still, shit. still shining. Yeah. Him nah, I never heard that. I gotta hear that. That's crazy. We about to put that on right now, then. <laughs> and who's that again? That's Killer Sin and who? Killer Sin and Deck. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, over this, over the, over the still shining beat of still shining. That shit. That's the um. That's that uncontrolled substance right there, man. Killer Sin, Deck. Hold on, yeah. Boot Camp, of course. Boot Camp Click was ill, man. The whole duck down. Word up. Oh, you so say you say yeah, boot camp click. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got you open, uh, you know what I mean? It's just all that, man. They was just like they was just crazy with it, man. DJ Evil D, Buckshot, Help the Skelter. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy with it, man. All right, here we go. I think I found it. I think I found it. Yeah, somebody said boot camp click. Let's see, is this it? Yeah, 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 there we go. What the fuck goes down? Ha ha! Bring it on, y'all. Another fucking rebel eye. Live ass collaboration. Till it's in. Hold up. Yeah. Rub it on your neck. Here we go, so good.
it's a, yo, he's crazy, man. He's crazy a, with it, bro. It's a it's a Tony it's Tony Touch Tony Touch joint. Um, it's called Fifty MC Cypher. So Killerson inspected deck over that shit. Um, official, oh, official. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's 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 fucking crazy. Let's see if we get if there's any more questions real quick. Yo, what you got on the horizon, man? Like, what's what's good? What, what should we expect from you? Uh, working on a couple of joints right now. I know I'm gonna probably drop a single soon with Castle Money Beats. Uh, oh, me, uh, is me, him, and Ivan the Terrible. You know what I mean? We we're gonna drop a joint. Uh, uh I big got up, big up to uh, Saint Ivan the Table Terrible. Big up Castle Money Beats, man, for real. Shout out to the X, man. BX, uh, you know, Ivan the Terrible, and all that. Uh, that I'm working on it. I got an EP with XP the Marksman. You know what I'm oh, saying? Right. Yeah. So uh, I'm not really sure, you know, when we're gonna drop that, but uh, you know, just be on the lookout for that. And um, I'm also working on another EP with uh with my guy Old English. He's a uh he's a battle rapper from uh from England. You know what I mean? Uh, if you ever go to YouTube and check out Don't Flop, that's like one of the biggest uh battle leagues that they had out there. And his name is Old English, you know what I mean? And it's uh, going to be produced by this ill, uh, yo, this kid is ill, man. His name is Astronomics, man. So if you trust me, it's, it's going to be crazy. All right, all right, salute, salute. You know, I'm also working, and I'm working on a solo joint, and you know what I mean? So that could probably be like next year, though. Man, yeah. shit. Man, man, shit. Big up, everybody. Big up, Twistello. Twistello. Yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to stay busy, man. Yeah, no, we're, that's what's up, man. You got to keep it coming, man. Like, it's, it's can't, it's like, can't sit on shit. I'll be telling cats, be like, yo, I got so much shit in the chamber. I'm like, where is that? Like, like, yeah, fucking... man, it's tough, man, because I'm, I'm like, I'm real, like, uh, like, I'm almost like a perfectionist, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I like, I don't want to let it go. You know what I mean? Like, I always find something wrong or something I could add or, you know what I mean? But I just, I got to let it fly, man. I got to let it fly, you know? You have to, yo, because because it's, it's too many. Here's the thing. We, like, on my, in my chair, I have to sift through so much trash to get through the good shit. So, <laughs> so like, if if you're not putting that shit out, like, it's like. It, it's respectfully, like, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. You know, I got something through mad trash, like a, a shovel, B. I always say this, man. It's funny. In my chair, the people that need to tell me and pump their music more, they don't. And the people that need to stop doing this music shit are the ones that are always in my fucking DM. You know what I'm saying? It's like the ones that... So my point is, yo, get your shit out there. We need to hear your shit. I think everybody would agree that... uh we really like your fucking music, so that's that's what I'm trying to say here. So, no, oh, that's what's up, man. Like I never, you know, this this shit that I never would have, you know, I would have never thought. You know what I mean? Like people doing in like doing interviews and, and stuff like that. Like so, I appreciate. You know what I mean? I appreciate whatever, whatever, whatever comes. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you know, it's it's all love, man. It's about like you make good music, man. You know what I'm saying? And 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 we we care. Like it's it's fucking dope. Like. But for instance, because I don't care. It's like I don't care who's hurt of you. I feel like people need to hear of you, but I don't care. Like to me, I feel mm -hmm. like every time I post your shit, I'm like, yo, this is the best album I heard all year. I don't give a fuck who you just telling me about. This is the best shit I heard. This is the best shit I fucking like. Like fuck y'all niggas. Like you know what I'm saying? This is it. This nigga right here. Yeah, he, him and this cat. Like so, for me, it's like if it's nice, it's nice, man. Like you're nice as fuck. Like and I and I knew from the World Series joint, and then. You had the um, the shit. It was the uh, the Castle of Grand shit too. Castle of Grand. What up? Castle Blanca. Where you at? Ah, what up? What up? What up? What up? Castle of Grand shit. Hold on, hold on. We got part one and two, man. We we probably we're gonna do a part three. You know. We're hitting with this shit before we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, 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 you know what I'm saying this Castle of Grand shit. You All know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, I need to hear this nigga, man. For real, like, like. It's, it's most of your people on here because my other pages all blocked the shit. If you fucking with the shit, follow Carrie and the Culture. That's the real jump off this five years. Yes. It's just a, follow Carrie and the Culture right, not now, but right now. Just, you know what I'm saying? Salute. And follow Oda Great, man, because this cat is fucking retarded, man. Like, I'm telling you, this nigga. This, this <laughs> nigga. <laughs> well, they gonna be after, watch my shit get shut down. 
I'm fucking giving this the weed, man. It's the weed. Get out of here. Yo, this shit is crazy. Yo. Down, my G. Thank Yo, you man. very much, man. Thank you, bro. And I wish you, you know, much continued success on everything you're doing, man. For real. I say that with all um all sincerity, man. No, I appreciate you, man. It's, it's because of, you know what I'm saying, people like you, you know, support and see what we do and, and build. And, you know, you put the music out there, we try to we try to pump it. So it's a mutual respect and relationship. And, that, and that's what, you know, hopefully both artists and industry cats can kind of figure that out because it's like we can help each other you know what i'm saying do do a lot of great things so crazy thanks everybody for joining in this was episode 53 can Hello. Come Hello. To your older great port chester nigga i know man it's right off right up right out of connecticut <laughs> man i know man you they already know our culture man port chester new york man i know now man Fort Westchester county and why let's go so i'm saying Go fuck with the last drag with the last dragon. Out now. Out right Out now. now. Free mind. Oh the great the shit is retarded. We're gonna be out. <laughs> Talk to y'all motherfuckers. I'll tag you and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So okay, thanks man. everybody for joining in. We out. We've been going live in like two minutes. All right, peace, y'all. Peace, fam. <laughs>